lost over 40 pounds with Bragg's weight loss. Local Sky 3, bringing you the big local news from unique views. What do they say about a business only being as good as its people and its employees? Well, the same is true for the volunteers who are out there in our midst. There are a lot of them here in the Chattanooga and Tennessee Valley area, and this is the week that we celebrate them. This is Volunteer Services Week, as fitting uh, as it has been on our show for a long time. Jean Payne always comes our way. She is with uh, the Volunteer Services Director at CHI Memorial. Yes. Next to her, Dr. Jim O'Connell, who happens to be the Volunteer Auxiliary President. So good to see you both. Thank you, you too. Thank yeah. you. Uh, nice very much it's in the, the blood over there at CHI Memorial. I mean, I think you probably have almost two to one <laughs> hospital staff to volunteers, right? Well, we're very blessed. We have the best volunteer team ever. And we have approximately about 300 volunteers. That's and, a lot. And they're on all of our campuses. So they, they are the face of Memorial in so many ways. They're the first people that uh, those that come in our doors greet. You also have them for a long time. I mean, how long have you been volunteering? Five Jim? years, I, yeah. I think. I was going to check with Gene, actually, but <laughs> yeah. I think five years now. Once he retired, we, we, yeah. we had him come, come yeah. play yeah. with us. Yeah. But there are many people, you mentioned they're retiring. Oh, right. You don't have to be retired no. to volunteer. No, no. But it's a great way to still give yourself kind of a something to do with your day mm -hmm. and connected to the things that have always meant something sure. to you. Well, and that's what, and Jim can speak to this, but so many of our volunteers say that, that it means so much to them. It's a ministry. You mm -hmm. know, they, they love serving others. It gives them a purpose. They see how much anxiety they can reduce from someone who might be a little fearful coming into the hospital. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and we've got volunteers everywhere. And yeah. It's kind of funny to me that you would have used the word ministry. I was somewhere uh, in Trenton yesterday mm -hmm. doing an interview with somebody and uh, we got talking that you live long enough, you kind of find out what your gifts are yes. in life. Right. Yes. And when yeah. you use them, just your life in and of itself is a ministry. Right. Yes, right. and that's what I found working at uh, Memorial. I, the Wednesday, I work on a Wednesday morning shift at the uh, Geary Hart entrance, the A entrance. Mm -hmm. and, I'll tell you, it's just so much fun to see people come in and are very afraid and they'll get some kind of a test. They've got a test, they have no idea. I usually ask if they've ever had it before. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it'll work around to I'll say, well, I'm a retired family physician. And I just say, you know, this is not something that some of them will think they're going to be stabbed, you know, or get uh -huh. a needle in or something and, and tell them, no, it's not going to be like that, you right. know, so could, but. Anyway, but we talked to him about that. So I find it very helpful and people seem to relax a little I bit. I think so too. I think also seeing people who are happy around you right. yes. makes you relax sure. and yes. you find that as well. Well, and too, our, our hospital is large. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah. it's really nice to have someone that they can take you there. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that alone, you're not, yeah. you're not alone. So it's, it's just a wonderful service. And for, for folks who want to get their steps in, we can provide that. Yes. Well, so as part <laughs> yes. of, as part of uh, the week, yes. is that what you're also encouraging our viewers to do? Not just celebrate the volunteers, but perhaps become one? Yes, yes. Because yes. we, I mean, like I say, we can always use more helping hands and, and more folks to help carry out the great work that we're doing. And our volunteers do just that. So circling back then to our conversation mm -hmm. about how you use your own innate gifts and it works for you in your life. Not everyone watching is going to feel that they're outgoing. Right, perhaps. right. Yeah. But you need other types we, of volunteers. We do. we do. We have some behind the scenes volunteers. We have volunteers that help it support staff and offices. Um, we have volunteers that, uh, or we got pet therapy volunteers. If, if that is your ministry, yeah. you know, we have volunteers that play our pianos. You know, you know, you just, if, if you're interested in volunteering, we have so many different options, mm -hmm. and if we don't have it, we may create it. So what about, I know like with the pet therapy, you mentioned that, yes. that's a degree of certification sure that is. you have to yes. go through, obviously. Um, so what is required of someone to be a volunteer in a general sense? In a general sense, uh, basically four hours a week is what we schedule and what they would do is call us or uh, visit our website we have mm -hmm. a fillable application uh, we would set up an interview and then after that set an orientation mm -hmm. and that's about a five-hour uh, ordeal and then mm -hmm. the next week or when you're ready we'll, we'll begin service we'll talk about what your interests are where you feel comfortable and many times folks don't know 
what they're interested in yet. Yeah. Yeah. So through that process of getting to know them, then you know we'll, we'll place them in an area that we think that works with their schedule and would be maybe our greatest need and we'll go from there and if that doesn't work then we'll find another area. Yeah. So I'm thinking like you mentioned the piano player. Yes. Uh, yeah. You can just simply come and show that you do know how to tinkle those ivories. You're not right. going to just play chopsticks. <laughs> right, I guess. right, right, right. Uh, and then, Something soothing, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there an age requirement? 18? It's 16. 16? Yes. We have students uh, come this summer and we have a summer program so that young students come in and work with us and they get to get the whole experience about what we do and and, and every uh, day for you that you're yeah, volunteering yes, is different yes pretty much you it, it cannot is. count on the same activity I mean there's obviously some similarity in activity but there'll be days that things will will pop up that you didn't quite anticipate ah. and, and uh, so it's it's very interesting I find it very rewarding and look forward to going on I'm Wednesday. sure you do. Yeah. And I, if some, I, one thing I would add is if sometimes something doesn't work out for you, like I, they signed me to be a driver at mm -hmm. Ixon, that wasn't particularly my thing because mm -hmm. I didn't get enough exposure to people. Mm -hmm. So I asked to switch down. Yeah. To, they will let you do, do it. That. Here's where you go. Memorial.org slash yes. volunteer. Give a big pat on the back to the, vo back to the volunteers <laughs> yes. in your life. 495-8610, their number. Thank you. Thank you. The Go Red for Women Luncheon is Friday, May 10th at the Chattanooga Convention.